Welcome back to a brand new episode of Couchside. Me and Justin are on the red couch tonight, and we are going out of this world tonight. Giving you some news straight from the couch. As it turns out, United Arab Emirates is launching, believe it or not, a space program valued at $500 billion by early estimates. They want to put people on Mars and create what appears to be a settlement or even a small city on Mars within the next 100 years. So, what is your take on that, Gerald? I think, honestly, as a sci-fi writer, as you all know, I'm a sci-fi writer, so I study this stuff for fun. I think this is awesome. I mean, when you look at it, this is something that I feel like we as a global community should be pursuing is exoplanetary colonization. We need to think about a future plan. Let's be honest here. Studies suggest that by 2030, the planet will already be at 8 billion people. We can barely sustain the 7 billion we got today. So we do need a backup plan for the population for any event that anything cataclysmic happens to the planet. Mars is a very suitable source. Yeah, uh, the story, the breaking news here really took me by shock just because I had never thought of UAE as yeah. a big space uh, country. <laughs> you know, I think about U.S. with NASA, I think about Russia, Soviet Union, mm -hmm. a handful of other countries that were involved in space exploration, but UAE, I hadn't really heard of them doing much. This might be more of a new thing for them, uh, but it's a really ambitious goal, wanting to create a settlement on Mars 100 years from now. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, they're pouring a lot of money into this. Well, it's going to be really interesting, and I do agree with you that it makes sense to do it from the perspective of, like you said, we have an asteroid hit the planet, some other, or maybe, you know, climate change making it uh, harder to live on Earth. Be nice to have that fail-safe option in case mm -hmm. the human race gets wiped out. <laughs> and I think it's yeah, I think it's cool because it creates this new age futuristic space race. I mean, we had the 50s and the fit and the 60s, you know, swarmed and you know just Russia and America raced to the moon, and of course we won. <laughs> Go USA! But I think it there are major players now at at work. You know, China has their own space program. Japan. Europe, Russia, still a, still a, being in the space game. Of course, the U.S. And there's also other things. I mean, we when we think of colonization, take it from the point of view, what's out there? There's money out there. You have the asteroid belt full of full of asteroids that can be mined with modern day technology. So you're thinking, you we start mining the asteroid belt. We bring the metals from the asteroid belt, those minerals, bring it to Mars. You got a limited amount of material. It's not, and it makes it easier because you don't have to take it from Earth to Mars. No, you have your quarry of metals out there already. And I don't know whether or not that's part of the plan or if they've looked no, into that. Yeah. But they may look into that. They may s decide. And again, the UAE, one thing they're mm -hmm. good with, you know, you think about the city of Dubai, their architecture, they actually are good at building. So, you know, going out there, they may decide to take that asteroid belt idea instead of importing all the metals from Earth. Yeah, well, the asteroid belt mining was actually something NASA has been talking about lately. So this is, and I did read in the article that I read about the UAE and their space, their future space program, that they do want to bring in international scientists. I don't think that their whole goal is UAE only. No, I do believe that their goal is to get the world interested because the thing about it is to create a substantial colony on Mars it's going to create a globe it's going to need a global effort so it'll be interesting to see how this works it's sad I'm sad as a sci-fi writer I may not see that city be built a little sad but you know it's cool that my great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren will have something to say wow we saw the first city on Mars <laughs> Right, it's it's a very unlikely we're going to see it <laughs> happen, very but uh, unless we become like cyborgs <laughs> and just like live to 500. Hey, and, like, they're talking about it, they're talking about it. But in all likelihood, it's, this is going to be something our like great-grandchildren get mm -hmm. to see happen, and we're not going to be around for it. It's almost also kind of reminds you like the John Malkovich movie he did, where it was like, I forget what it was called, like 300 Years or something like that, and mm. like it's it's in a... 
He took it to the uh, film festival in France, and it's in a lockbox. It won't come out until that year. Are you hits. serious? Yeah. <laughs> that was some news further back, but kind of reminds me of, like, wow, here's this cool thing that, like, we're not going to be around to see. Yeah, that's, that's real crazy. I mean, who knows if they're even going to have movies in 300 years. Who knows what the world's going to look like. But I do think this is very awesome. I think the fact that the UAE is coming out with the first punches on this, I mean, we've You've been hearing about the news of Elon Musk and how he wants to put people on Mars, you know, within the next 30 years, within 30 years. Um, whether that happens with the SpaceX program, we'll see. But I think it's cool that a global power is saying, hey, we want to put people on Mars in 100 years, substantial people, not just like regular astronauts, but a full settlement within 100 years. I think that's really cool, and it's going to get the rest of the world involved. Because what, you know, rivalries create some of the best products, and what's better than another new age space race? What's also going to be interesting is the type of technology they're mm -hmm. going to have to come up with to make this inha inhabitable. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's a different distance from the sun than Earth, yeah. so obviously you have to have, like, controls for the temperature and, and the mm -hmm. air and things like that. And so it's going to be interesting how they decide to design this. Um, so that's another thing that you know, they can look forward yeah. to figuring out. Yeah, I mean, in my research and stuff that I've read over the last, gosh, the last 10 or so years, I definitely believe that terraforming is definitely the long-term goal, terraforming Mars to make it like Earth, make it habitable without domes and habitats, you know, underground or anything. So, I mean, it starts, we got to get people there. <laughs> That's day one stuff. We got to get people there. We can build some cities on it. And then we can start considering terraforming where... One day, maybe Mars could look just like Earth, hopefully cleaner. <laughs> so if they invite you and your family to be part of this experiment of going to Mars, you're taking them up on it? Colleen won't let me go, so. <laughs> <laughs> She's not leaving Maryland. <laughs> Thought I would go in a second. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to see what happens, you know, yeah. when you, you start having great-grandchildren or whatever. <laughs> if I'm here. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, it's an exciting time, I think. Um, I hope this isn't just a splash in the pan. I hope this is something that they do continue. I mean, they have a 100-year plan, and I hope it continues. But either way, what a time to be alive. <laughs> yep. I mean, funding subject to change, like with anything else. But, hey, hey, hey it's hey. not like our country where we're, you know, funding wars all over the place. Hey, I hear commit to actually... That. We didn't say, we said we weren't going to talk about him, but I heard Trump actually does like the idea of getting people off the planet. So, who knows? <laughs> but that's our show for tonight. You know, we hope that you subscribe, like below, and leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. Um, don't forget to follow us on social media and stay tuned. <laughs>